Okay, so today I am going to walk you guys through the easiest makeup routine ever, okay? This whole look took me less than 10 minutes and I'm gonna quickly show you how I did it using my customizable compact from Mascara Beauty, okay? So let's start here. These top colors right here, these are called my highlight colors. So I don't use all of these every day, but in this video, you're gonna see me use this one, which is my main highlight color. That's the color I put mostly all over my face. And then this is my secondary color and that's the color that I use under my eyes to brighten this color down here that is my contour color so that's the second component of my foundation that's the dark shade that I put on my cheekbones under my cheekbones around my forehead and my jawline okay so those two your highlight and your contour make up your foundation. And what's really great about that is it's such a thin light layer that it just moves on your face throughout the day. It's not gonna settle, it's not gonna show wrinkles and get cracky or flaky. You're really gonna love how it just moves with your face throughout the day. Okay, so I also put on bronzer, which is this Bella bronzer, and that gave me that like summer glow, even though we're moving into fall and winter. I'm kind of in between shades right now, so that helps um, bring some warmth back into my face. And I tend to be a little bit more cool toned, so I like to bring that warm back in using the bronzer. This is the color right here. This is called Nude, and that's the color that I used for my blush for my eyeshadow and also for my lip color. And then also along with my eyeshadow, I used one of our smaller brushes and went in my crease and used the same contour color here that I used on my cheekbones and around my forehead. I also used it for um, part of my eyeshadow look and then I used it for my lip liner as well. So you can see our products are super versatile. You can use them in many different ways. I also popped a little bit of color from one of our powder illuminators here. Well, Whoa, <laughs> right here, this color is called Glamazing. And I used that color on the high points of my face to give me that youthful glow. I used it a little bit on my cupid's bow and my nose. And then I used it as part of my eyeshadow look and under my brow bone as well. And then lastly, I did my eyebrows and I used a eyeshadow color right here. This is called Basic. And I filled in my brows with that using our um, hotline brush here, which has the brush to do the color and then to use the spoolie. So I finished the look by blending everything with our perfecter and topped it all off with our stay spray. This is what helps give you the seamless look, that airbrush look and blends everything together. And then this is what keeps your makeup lasting all day long. So if you have any questions about the products I used or if you wanna get color match for this super easy, anyone can do it makeup routine, there is a link in my bio or you can send me a direct message and I'd love to help you out. Hi there, you can see my customizable double decker compact that I'm gonna be using today. I'm gonna to start off by priming my face using my stay spray. So I spray my perfector a few times and then swipe it all around my face and let it dry really quickly. I'm gonna start this look by doing my contour first. I'm using the small end of the Buffy brush and I swipe into that contour color and I'm carving out my cheekbones. Then I come back in with that flat, flat end of that same brush and I'm just adding some more depth and dimension by adding it all around my forehead and then I'm gonna go along my jawline. And you'll notice that as I'm using this brush, I'm also able to kind of blend as I go. So I'll flip the brush over and I'm gonna go into my main highlight color. I like to start on the bottom of my face and kind of work my way up from my jawbone all the way up my cheeks, under my eyes, around my eyes, down my nose, and then around my forehead and the T-zone area of my face. You'll notice how quickly it is for me to even out my skin tone and add that real bright color to my face, drawing your attention to the center of my face. And this covers up some redness that I have and any blemishes as well. Next, I'm gonna grab the B squared brush and go into my lip and cheek color called Nude. I really like this brush because it's easy to apply the blush color and you can blend as you go. I really quickly grabbed the Buffy brush here so that I could contour my nose. Next, I grabbed the Multitasker brush and I actually dipped into my same contour color and I'm lining my lips with this. 
This gives me a little bit more of a full lip appearance. And then I flip the brush and I'm using that same color nude that I put on my cheeks. I'm using it as my lip color as well. And to add to the versatility of these products, you'll see that I'm adding that same color nude on my eyelids. So you can use these products in multiple different ways. And it just gives you a little pop of color. Next, I grabbed the small end of the detail hack brush and I swiped a little bit of my contour color into the crease of my eyes. So I'm adding that dimension into my eyes that I also brought to my cheekbones, my forehead and my jawline. But this also is a really simple eye look that looks like you took a lot more time than you did. Next, I'm dipping into my secondary highlight color, and this is my brightening color, and you can see how it just gives me that appearance of being a little bit more awake, and it really draws your attention to that center triangle of my face. So I use that same brightening color down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my forehead, and a little bit on my cupid's bow as well. Next, I'm gonna go in with the bigger end of the B Square brush and add some bronzer. And I'm kind of in between colors right now. I've lost my summer tan, but I really want that warmth still brought to my face. So this Bella Cream Bronzer really just gives a little bit extra color and a little bit warmth that my face didn't have before. Now I'm gonna blend. So you're gonna grab your pers Perfector sponge and you wanna make sure it's nice and damp, squeeze it out in the sink, and then you wanna press the makeup into your face. So you're not swiping, you're not wiping it away, but you're really just pushing it in and kind of easing those lines so that you don't see any brush strokes from the brushes. Next, I'm going in with Glamazing using the Best Blend Forever brush. And I like to use it on the high points of my cheekbones, so right above that blush color, and on my cupid's bow, and I'm even putting a little bit on the inner corners of my eyes. Next, I'm grabbing the hotline brush, and I'm gonna use this to fill in my eyebrows. So I brush them out with the spoolie end, and that's one thing I really love about this brush, is you have the angled end so that you can apply the color and you can either use an eyeshadow color like I'm using here, I'm using the color basic, or you can even use your contour colors. So it has the nice angled end to apply the color and then you flip the brush over and you can brush out your brows. I'm adding a little bit more of that Glamazing color to my brow bone. And now I'm done. I'm gonna finish off the look with Stay Spray and then mascara. And that is my super easy, simple makeup look that anyone can do. If you need any help or you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'd love to help you.